He's been a part of Hawaii's sports and news world for nearly two decades. And Howard Dashevsky, also known as Dash, has no plans of calling it quits anytime soon. The red-headed baseballer, who has worked on the radio calling UH Baseball and as a news anchor, now calls OC16 his home base. For me, doing the sports on OC16 is, that is my ultimate passion. I love play-by-play -play and the young kids and the energy and the emotion that they show. I mean, we're really privileged because how special is this for these kids to be on TV and we're the ones that get to bring it to life and uh, to watch it play out in front of you. It is the ultimate unscripted reality TV. And uh, you know, when, when we're all kids, we've all asked our own parents, tell me a story, or we've had our own children say, tell me a story. You know, now I get to tell stories. I get paid to tell stories or, or to share something that's unfolding in front of me. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's the best job going. Although Dash has made Hawaii his home, he grew up on the mainland. Born and raised in Southern California, Grew up around the water, grew up playing sports, you know, as a football, baseball, basketball guy, but baseball was always kind of my sport and obviously uh, excelled at that and you know, talk about that old line from Saturday Night Live, baseball been very, very good to me. <laughs> it really has. Picking a college to attend sometimes can be a difficult decision, but for Dash, the choice was pretty easy. It ultimately uh, came down to USC and University of Hawaii and I kind of came here and I looked around and said, no brainer. You know, so I played baseball at the university, of course, 1980. We got to go to the College World Series, played for the national championship, lost. Still bums me out, but you know, we were there. Originally, Dash planned on going into sports training or sports medicine, but said his gift of gab and a friend's suggestion led him on a much different path. So yeah, I was kind of one of those typical Young guys, undeclared major, wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Of course, I was going to be a pro ball player, weren't we all? But then I, I'd always goof around out at the old Les Murakami field. I'd be out there in the outfield. Okay, bottom of the ninth, two down, line drive to left field, base hit. And I kind of did a little mock broadcast. And one of the guys said, you know, you got you to get into journalism. You got to get into communications. And I thought, you know what? It's not a bad idea. And I did. And I was lucky enough to start broadcasting the University of Hawaii Baseball. And then I was given an opportunity to do sports for television. And kind of snowballed from there and just kind of kept moving up the ladder and became a news anchor and, and I've been really, really lucky and enjoyed some amazing experiences and incredible opportunities and it, it just really was a natural progression to, to fit into everything where I wanted to go from, from then on. But his successful broadcast career isn't all that he has to be proud of. He also has an amazing family. Being an athlete, we all think about, okay, we can't wait to have boys, and well, you know, I had two girls, and as it turns out, they were into sports for a while, but now they're into the theater arts, and, and the dancing, and the performing, and the acting, and the singing, and uh, so, you know, it's just a different venue of competition, and I'm so proud of them. They're entering high school, you know, two high school teenage girls, so it's certainly fun and different and challenging, but um, it's great. When Dash isn't spending time with his two daughters, you can find him enjoying the outdoors. You know, I used to do that crazy triathlon stuff, did that for a few years, worked my way up to Ironman, got through it. Still to this day, can't believe I did an Ironman, but that was crazy. But now, it's, you know, this is where I'd rather be, right here out on the South Shore. Not a big wave guy, but get on my longboard and, you know, pop some paradise and threes and rock piles right around here. Get out in the water, play golf, and you know, just enjoy the outdoors. But probably my other great passion is uh, the winter time. I, I head up to the mountains, big time skier slash snowboarder, and uh, you know, love nothing more to be up in the mountains and that change of environment and the fresh, crisp air, and just yeah, love being out in the snow. In 2010, Dash started producing and hosting Sports People Hawaii on OC16, which allowed him to combine his love of sports, storytelling, and the outdoors. Well, you know, I was doing the sports, and Mitzi came up to me from Oceanic and said, hey, we want to do a sports show. We want to revive Sports People Hawaii. And for me, I just immediately snapped at it. In television news, you're so limited, you only have a, an hour and a half maybe to use the camera, then you got to bang out your story, you have an hour to write it, and then you only have an hour and 15 minutes to air it. Now with a half hour long form format, I, I have the opportunity to really do some good storytelling. And I met some of the greatest people in, 
inspirational stories, heartbreaking stories, emotional fun, and it's really rewarding for me, and it's become really fulfilling, and truthfully, it's probably, or undoubtedly, the best television that I've ever done. And, and that was validated recently because we were nominated for four Emmys, and that was kind of like, wow, you know? OC16 wants to congratulate Howard Dashevsky for winning two Emmys for Outstanding Achievement for Sports People Hawaii. The first was in the Best Sports Story category for a segment on big wave surfer Clark Little. And the second Emmy was in the Best Historical and Cultural category for a piece on Sonny Bradley, Master Canoe Builder. Make sure to watch Sports People Hawaii exclusively here on OC16. Log on to OC16.tv for a list of showtimes, or you can catch back episodes of this Emmy Award-winning program in our show's library.